like to introduce you to another of these endlessly modulating lines. I come up with these while I'm playing and I decide to share them just in the hopes that they might be of interest to someone out there. It's going to follow a little formula here. So it sounds like a, a 5-1 resolution. in E minor here. So this first little bit, 14, 15, 17, 15, 12, F sharp, G, A, G, E, pretty much outlines E minor, and then we get a little five chord here, B7, D sharp, passing tone E, up to F sharp, this is 11, 12, 14, so we're using three fingers here, shifting down a whole step from where we started, And then we're going to do an interval each time that leads us I hope you can see that that's the same pattern shifted over to the second string. So I'm going at this point with my third finger on the second string 13th fret C. Now we're going to do the same thing in A minor. So each time we're going from E to A minor. To D minor. To G minor. To C minor. To F minor. So we're getting all the way from E minor to F minor around the back cycling around the circle. So I'll try to show and call out positions here. If you've not yet done so, please do subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Like and share and leave a comment. It is always good to hear from you. And if you'd ever like to send me a tip, my PayPal information is there in the description below. So we're going to carry on now with a little endlessly modulating line. Endlessly in the sense that if we had an unlimited guitar, this line could keep going. Or once you get down in a certain register, you could start this one up an octave somewhere and keep going down and then back up. Or layer it in a shepherd tone kind of multi-track way where as the line goes and you get lower, it gets quieter and you introduce a higher line at a higher volume that blends in and no one notices that the low line has disappeared and the high line has come in. That's the essence of a shepherd tone scale. I have a, a atonal orchestral video on shepherd tones that I might put a link to there, but besides the point. So if we we could just stop and end this in E minor. But we're going to keep going, modulating through keys. So now same formula. Um, half step, whole step, whole step down, 12, 13, 15, 13, 10, and now for the 5 chord below it, 9, 10, 12, 10, that gets us to A. And 
and now we need to be a half step above the five chord of the next so we're entering in each time on the the minor third of the next key center that C is the minor third of A minor we're entering in on F 10th fret which is the third of D minor third of G of uh, G minor in this case we're entering in on E flat which is the minor third of C and then we're entering a flat which was the minor third of F minor so we're gonna go from E minor to a minor to D minor to G minor to C minor to F minor back cycling minor keys. I don't know if I need to go over the fingerings, do I? It's the essence of pattern, playing a pattern. So what is the, the basic mechanism is, I'll do it from, uh, from the one in D minor. So this is ninth fret. So we play around with the neighbor tones of the minor third of D minor. So F is a chord tone of D. We're playing below, passing through it, going above it, and back down. That would be if we were to take it through the key, what we'd hear. So we have. That's the mechanism. So it looks like this three note pattern that's gonna resolve down a minor third. Minor third is this many frets here, four frets, but really a minor third and then a half step. And you'll notice that these two bits are the same fingering. string if we did it on one string but I hope I'm conveying the idea that the pattern is very similar all the way through it's the same it's just that we're switching strings you have to know your chord tones and where they are on the board I hope this has been something interesting for you I like these endlessly modulating lines there is a playlist if you watch this far I will mention that there are playlists for everything I'm pretty fastidious about trying to weave some context between things and point you at other things that might be interesting. But take a look at the playlists. There's, I don't know at this point how many, 30 more? I don't know. I'm adding to them all the time. So little subsets of topics that might be interesting. And once you get in there, then there's a number of videos on every little subset. I do hope this finds you well and enjoying your music, enjoying your time spent playing the guitar, if that's what you play. And I wish you, as always, a very good day.